Hey guys, Serifox910 here, and as you can see, we are here on Lockers, and uh, just a quick warning, this is not a very big map, so there's not much to go on, and it's also very narrow, so this is going to be a short video, but like I always say, there is going to be nade spots, and I will link it in the description below, but yeah, let's jump right into it, guys. Now here on the Russian side, we're going to start on the far left side, also known as Snow. Now on snow, that's basically you have two options, either you push up straight being all aggressive or you have to sit far back and play the defensive role. Some of the options that you want to hide is basically either on this rock at the far back, the one here, this rock over here, and then another position is either sit here basically in the doorway, in this little position here. If you are going to play the aggressive role, I would suggest popping a nade so it lands behind that rock, either pushing them off or basically getting the kill, leaving space for you to push up towards the cover and taking them down. I was, there's usually at least two people pushing up here or one, it depends on the enemy team, but always do expect someone here. And if there is nobody here, just wait a few seconds, check if there is a latecomer and then move inside. Now here in the middle area on lockers, um, the Russian team basically always arrive late here. So if they push out from the snow, as soon as you arrive here, they will basically just come inside that area. So either popping an RPG into there is basically a good way to start the push. But then expect them to come through the doorway there as well. And it splits up into three areas. The middle here, to the right, and then to the left. Getting into this tower from the start is very needed because it's a higher ground and you have better cover to take the enemy out at all positions basically. And then obviously the bomb does spawn on the right side first. So making a push towards the right side, but also keeping it high because remember people can see through the little gap and they can shoot you through these little containers. Now when it comes to pushing the bottom of lockers, the underground is a loophole I would say because you can move through here without people actually noticing, oh they can hear you from top, but then again there's not that much people down here. You would find at least one or two, but never actually more than two, unless they have no other option but to move through here, which usually happens when people turn to move, take the bomb from side to side. Okay, now for the Russia side, this is my overview of a bit of more defensive, well, hold. As you can see here at the top, we have one already at the far back, watching the snow, making sure nobody pushes. And then here, the one without a black dot in it at the top, is basically watch, just holding back, watching the front entrance there, and one here at the far back stairs, also watching the front entrance. These two with the black dots in them are basically at the bottom, this one is by the stairs, watching the door, and one here behind the railings, watching straight to the door as well. Basically holding the defense, making sure they push you first, seeing as you have the advantage. Unless the previous round you did um, lose that round, then you might want to take the aggressive stance. Now for the aggressive stance. As you can see here at the top, we have the one guy pushing up straight towards the rocks, using his nade towards there, and then pushing up and taking enemy enemies out. And here in the middle area, we have the one pushing up in the middle next to the tower, making sure there's nobody up there by the um, blue stairs or in front of them. And we have another one to the right of the tower, pushing up straight towards there, and in far to the bomb spawn there. And here you have the one with the black dot at the bottom of the flag, making sure nobody pushes there as well. This is basically um, an aggressive push if your previous round didn't go as planned, and you need to play a bit more aggressive to get the bomb short to make sure they have to push you. Overall, from the Russia side, there's not much to go on when it comes to attacking. You just have to make sure you get your picks down. Or if you really do want to, you can play a bit defensively and make them push you, seeing as you do start late. Setting up here on your side of the map, making sure they push you, getting the picks first, and then moving out from there. Basically setting up two here at the top, another two at the bottom, ever one watching the snow by the entrance or outside of snow, making sure they don't come even close to the entrance. Okay, now for snow from the US side. Uh, when you are pushing up here, you are going to basically arrive here in this area first, while well, the enemy will basically arrive in that area. So you want to be as aggressive as possible, getting up here, getting the higher grounds, and getting the better cover, I would suggest. Popping a nade to them, basically, will also send them a bit back if they didn't push up. Even when pushing up here, clearing them either up there, or there, or sometimes they will be behind those rocks there. Unless they are playing defensively, which will be at the back there. You can then obviously push up rock by rock, and then tossing nades, getting close as possible, Popping a nade from this area here will let it land by that doorway there if it was in sync with it. But unfortunately my aim was pretty off there, but you get the idea. One thing you can do if you do want to push outside, you can take a four man push and push them right through on the top here. Leaving one outside and taking three men inside. Basically taking two down here and then two uh, with the last one down here. Because you arrive here at first on the top side, but do be careful if they do pop RPGs. It's not a, a guarantee that they will kill you, but there is a good chance unless they're playing defensively. 
if you're going to push it from the middle, basically you want to send these two people up here straight and then one to the left side claiming the bomb for yourself. By that basically claiming the top ground, one can go either right side checking this area here or making sure no one pops up here. And when you're pushing up from the left side, making sure the enemy teammates does not get to the bomb first and supporting your friendly on the left side. We can basically move from here using pillar to pillar. But like I said, do be careful if you do move against this area here because they can see through a little gap, all these gaps here, and they can just shoot right through it as well. And then under, it's basically the same as the other side. You just have to make sure you get the kill, claiming the under area for yourself, making sure you have more mobility than the other team. Also, if you do have to get a sneaky frank, the underside is always there for you. Right now, here on the US side, you can see with the green, it's a bit of a defensive push. Here at the top, you have the guy pushing up straight to the snow. You always have him push up straight to the snow because you have the advantages of the height and getting there first as well. But yeah, basically tossing the nade and making sure they don't push up and keeping them back. And then here, you can see another guy at the top right of the tower in the middle, watching the right side area. And then one to the left, basically watching the left side area. And then another one far to the left side of the pillars, making sure they don't get to the bomb. And the one here at the far back is at the bottom, making sure they don't push to the bottom side, either taking the stairs or taking him out and pushing behind. And here you have your aggressive push. As you can see, as always, at the top, you have the guy pushing up, making a nade, making sure they don't push you. But... You have the three guys pushing in with you, which is this one at the top stairs, making sure there's no one there providing over, um, overview cover. And then the one who jumped down to the pillars on the right side at the bottom as well. And then the one who made a straight run towards the tower, watching the entrance and towards the bomb. And then you have a lone ranger here who took the long way around inside at the bottom, making sure nobody goes in the bottom, taking your flank. Now guys, basically as this is a basic guide, there's not much what I can do in this video for you guys. But suggest if you do push, as always, make sure you do get your picks. From the US side, you will get in this area first, so use that to your advantage and play aggressive. Taking the enemy down and then basically, once the enemy is down, use that time gap to push ahead. If they have people on snow, it's fine. Leave one to check behind you while the rest push forward and claiming the enemy bomb sites for yourself. Okay, so that was it for lockers. Um, I hope this video is very informative for you guys. And as always, the link in the description will be in the nades. And again, I do apologize for the video being short and not much to go with as this is not really yeah, much you can do on this map as well. But I'm pretty sure most of you locker whores will enjoy this map and know what to do already. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this. Please like and subscribe to my video. And as always, thank you so much.